Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I uh, wanted to discuss something with you guys here. And uh, what that is, is uh, food recalls. And um, I'm not sure if people know these things outside of um, agricultural areas where I live in. Um, so I wanted to uh, touch base on it basically in a quick video here. And uh, I, when I was in school, had um, a certain amount of uh, training when it came to different agricultural processes. And uh, one in particular was uh, poultry because we are always had chickens, ducks, turkeys and stuff when I was growing up. You know, they said, hey, we want you to, uh, you know, participate in these, uh, you know, these classes and these um, contests and that kind of stuff. And uh, I agreed to doing that, you know, and I had to know the different, uh, you know, breeds of chickens, and we actually had to go to uh, Lansing, and uh, Lansing, where Michigan State uh, University is, they do a lot of uh, training when it comes to, um, like, USDA judging and how to look for, you know, how to inspect different uh, poultry products and this kind of stuff. And I'm just saying this here for uh, poultry, but this goes for um, pretty much any kind of meat that you get uh, on the store shelf nowadays. That stuff all has to be inspected and whatever. And that gets to, you know, the recalls, you know, this is contaminated with this and that and stuff. And then they recall the stuff. And the reason that is, is because of the mechanical processes that they use to process these animals which is actually quite disgusting if you've never uh, seen or heard anything like that and uh you know poultry in general there was never the talk um when people butchered their own chickens and turkeys and stuff uh, when i was a kid growing up you never heard of people getting the you know the salmonella and e coli and all that stuff that you kind of hear now and, uh, you know, there's a, not a week goes by when you're not hearing some kind of recall that this is contaminated with that or whatever. And uh, the reason that the home process stuff, you know, you took care when you dress those animals, trying to make not make this so sound so disgusting here, like what it actually is. And, uh, you know, if you're actually witnessing it, but, you know, when you took the insides out of the animal, you did that with a certain amount of care when you were processing your own animals. And that's not the case when it comes to modern mechanized uh, processing installations, facilities, however you want to put it. And uh, what that does is, is that basically spreads those contaminants around and it contaminates the meat that they're trying to produce. And then they have to go do things afterward, like wash that stuff and whatever. And those kind of things you didn't have to do. There was less cross-contamination when you process the stuff yourself. So, uh, you know, it always irritates me when, uh, you know, people talk about, oh, well, the only way that you can get safe and uh, uh, decent stuff is stuff that's been inspected and processed by the large whatever the large companies and the large wholesalers and all that other stuff and uh, you know that's that's complete bs you know those big companies they lobby for you know they lobby against stuff like you know home canning and home processing your stuff because you can never do it as good as what they're doing it because of whatever their processes is well their processes are the reason why there are so many recalls in our food system if people learned how to do some of that stuff themselves and they process their own food, you would see a lot less of that. Like I said, the Doles and the Del Montes and stuff, they're the ones that lobby against, um, you know, home canning and that stuff. And, you know, don't take my word for it. You know, do a little research and you can, uh, you can kind of see that stuff for yourself. But that always irritates me when you know, always hear somebody say that you can't process stuff at home like they can, uh, you know, in the big manufacturing facilities. And uh, I don't, I don't believe that at all. You know, if that was the case, how did we get to this point without large processing places? How did we get to this point as a species? So that right there kind of nullifies their uh, argument. But I wanted to mention that because there's always recalls in the news where, you know, they're, 
they're processing this stuff and there's always cross contamination and then they have to recall all of these things. And I think there's a lot more behind recalls than what, uh, what people uh, understand and know about too. I think recalls are used as a smoke screen to a certain extent for other things, but that's a whole nother video. But anyways, Modern Refugee, appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys uh, got a little information, a little entertainment out of my video here, just discussing uh, recalls, cross-contamination and home processing of your food. Anyway, you guys take care.